Good morning, everybody. It's Eve from the Thrive Clinic here, clinical nutritional therapist and associate naturopath. And I'm just letting you know that as of now, I am able to offer nutrient injections. So nutrient injections that I will be offering are vitamin B12, vitamin D, glutathione, biotin, and vitamin C. So I thought I would introduce vitamin B12 to you because it's the most common um, nutrient injection to be used. So vitamin B12 is an essential vitamin. And if you are low in this vitamin, which 99% of people that come through my door are, then you will feel pretty bad. So it is available mainly in animal products. So if you're vegetarian or vegan, you definitely, definitely 100% need to be supplementing somehow with vitamin B12, whether it's a capsule or a liposomal spray, you need to be making sure that you have vitamin B12. Symptoms of feeling low in vitamin B12 include extreme fatigue, tiredness, um, breathless, breathlessness when climbing stairs or going up a hill despite not changing your fitness level, um, mental fog, so cognitive decline, forgetting why you've gone into a room for something, poor decision making, um, just feeling not quite right with your cognition, uh, mood disorders, depression, anxiety, very common with vitamin B12 deficiency, um, hormone problems, the thing with vitamin B12 is lots of people struggle to absorb it. Now, there's many reasons why people struggle to absorb vitamin B12. So first of all, there's a quite serious condition, an autoimmune condition called pernicious anemia. And these individuals just physically cannot absorb B12. They haven't got the right chemical constituents in their body for that chemical reaction to happen to be able to take in vitamin B12. However, those people will usually be prescribed injections by their doctor and will probably require them monthly. In addition to that though, there are other people who struggle with malabsorption of not just vitamin B12, but lots of B vitamins and lots of other things. And um, that can be down to a poorly functioning gut, the small intestine uh, may be compromised somehow. You may have SIBO, you may have a bacterial overgrowth. Um, but also, some people are born a little bit differently and they, uh, their genome is slightly altered. So we're, none of us have got a perfect genome. But there's one specific um, gene that can be affected called the MTHFR gene. And if there's a polymorphism on that gene, which is really common, it's something like one in four, one in five people have this problem, then they will find it very difficult to absorb vitamin B12 and to be able to use it efficiently. So um, it's a really life-changing nutrient. If you're low in this vitamin, then I see it every day. People come into my clinic and I look at their levels and the GPs told them that they're absolutely normal. Everything's fine. The B12's fine. I take one look at it. It's not fine. It's far from optimal. It's at the very bottom end of normal. It's not your GP's fault. They have a very strict reference range and very strict guidance that the NHS have to use. And unfortunately, they have to stick with that. I'm sure all your GPs would love you to be in optimal health, but they are just restricted in how they have to deal with things. So um, optimal levels are very different to normal levels. So I see daily the massive differences that vitamin B12 can make to people's life getting their levels up to scratch so if you are one of these people that has a bit of a defection in how you absorb vitamin b12 and you won't know that unless you have gene testing or gastro um, exploratory procedures then taking a supplement in the form of a tablet is not going to work for you it's not going to help raise those levels and there are different grades of b12 so there's very cheap um, B12s that you will find in the likes of normal supermarket supplements and they will not help your levels rise. So um, the 
beauty of an injection of B12 is it bypasses the whole digestive system. So you don't need to worry about your absorption where, where that process happens in the intestines. It goes straight in into the blood and raises your levels almost immediately. And the injection lasts for between four to six weeks, depending on your need. Um, all your needs will always be gone through with me in a consultation. If you're one of my clients, I will have your blood tests. I will know exactly what you need. If you are new and you're just wanting to come to me for a vitamin injection, then you will have a full consultation um, to determine whether it's suitable for you. So there are lots of people offering B12 injections that are not nutritional therapists, and that is okay if you are in good health. If your health has more complex needs or you have prescription medication, then you really need to be having this from somebody that knows what they're doing. And also you might want to get to know why is my B12 so low when I eat lots of meat or when I take a vitamin B12 supplement, why are my B12 levels not rising? In that case, I can do the digging for you. I have expert knowledge in this area and um, it really is quite a learning curve and um, an informative process looking at your body and understanding how it works. So these injections are going to be £30. You can have um, a course of four for a hundred, which makes it a little bit cheaper, works out at £25 each. So do get in touch if you know of anybody who would benefit from this, or if you think you're really tired and you would like to have a look into your levels, I can organise for some cheap, um, affordable, not cheap, but affordable um, finger prick tests for you to do at home to determine where you are with all your nutrients if you were so inclined, and then we could have a look into that for you. So that's B12. I'll be talking about the other ones with you over the forthcoming weeks. So that's it for now. Have a great day.